Why do Rush fans love them so much? So Rush had been together for over 40 years until they called it quits permanently in 2015, their last show being on August 1st of that year. And over the years, they developed a warm relationship with their fans. And there are a lot of reasons that Rush fans love them so much. This video is about some of those reasons. There's a ton of reasons, but I'm going to mention just five of the reasons that fans of Rush adore them. And I'm going to look forward to you Rush fans who watched, watched this video to put in the comments even more reasons why you love them. Maybe even more than the reasons that I state here. Uh, these are just my observations. Some of these are the reasons why I love them so much. But uh, of course, there's a ton more reasons. And these are in no particular order. They're just um, stuff that I thought about that I thought I'd jot down and share it with you guys. But here goes. So one reason that I love Rush so much or that the fans love Rush so much is that they don't take themselves seriously. They are so funny uh, and they're so self-deprecating um, that it's pretty hilarious. Over the years, their videos that they've included, especially in the middle of their shows during their intermissions, are simply hilarious. And they are the main characters. Actually, they are the actors and they are the main characters in these funny videos and really just mocking themselves, just not taking, taking themselves seriously. In a genre where so many bands are like really serious about the music. It's prog rock, prog metal, and really deep topics, deep subjects, you know, fantasy, science fiction, musical theory, odd time signatures, heavy lyrics. Yeah, Rush has done all of that, but along the way, they've just joked around. And actually, that's one of the reasons that have kept them together so long, is that they just really don't take themselves seriously. So in the description of this video, I have links to a few of those videos where Rush acts out certain comedic scenes that I think you'll just find hilarious. And it just shows that it takes a lot of comedy to get through all the seriousness that they've gone through, be it musically and personally. And even for a time, the music that they would play at the beginning of the shows was the Three Stooges theme, which is again another poke at themselves. So the first reason that Rush fans love them so much is that they just don't take themselves seriously. Another reason that Rush fans love them so much is that they never ever took their audience for granted. Every show that they played, it was like if it was their last show. They really gave it their all for every show. An example of this is when they played Working Man at the end of their concerts during the Time Machine tour. If you see the level of energy that they played on that song, and they weren't uh, you know, spring chickens, they were up in age, but you watch them play like that and you're just so impressed and in awe that even at that age, they can still put it on like that. And that's really how they've been their entire career. And they've mentioned in many interviews that they never ever want to let down their fans when they put on a show. Because they have mentioned that they do know that people pay money to watch them play, and sometimes a lot of money, and they want to make sure that they put on a great show for their fans. I had the fortune of seeing them seven times. The first time I saw them was in 1987 during the Hold Your Fire tour. and. I saw the last five tours and I always thought that it was going to be their last tour because yeah, they were getting up older in age, <laughs> but I tell you, they still rocked it out every single time. And I'm sure that if you talk to fans who sp who've seen the band several dozen times, they will tell you that Rush put on a show full on from beginning to end every single time. And that song that I referenced, Working Man, that was the last song of that show. Every, cons every show of that tour, it was, that's how they ended it with that much energy. They just were so appreciative of the fans and they never wanted to let them down. So that's just another reason that Rush fans love them so much is that they never took their audience for granted. Another reason that Rush fans love the band so much is the band's pursuit of technical perfection. Here's a clip from the classic album's 2112 Moving Pictures DVD that talks just about that. I don't know that you can really appreciate this band if you haven't seen them live. I mean, these are three guys that make s all of this extraordinary music. And you have to be at such a high technical level to pull that off. It would be, it's hard enough in the studio, but live to pull that off, it says everything about them. Rush was always so intent on replicating the studio versions of the songs live. And they just figure out a way to do it. They would write the songs, create the songs, lyrics, music, and all of that in the studio, 
without ever knowing how they were going to do it live. They would just worry about it after the fact. And But when they decided to perform a song live, they figured out how to do it, no matter, no matter what it took. And there were actually some songs that they never intended to play live. And Neil Peart had mentioned at one point that Witch Hunt, which is off of Moving Pictures, was one of those songs. But then later they did play it live. And it was interesting how they did it because in the studio version, they had Hugh Syme play the keyboards. Hugh Syme being the album cover designer for all of their records from Caress of Steel to the end. He was also a musician too. And he played uh, on a couple of their songs over the years. This one, Witch Hunt, being one of them. And if you notice in the outro of that song in the studio, Getty Lee's playing the bass on that outro. But if you watch the live performance of that song on the Grace Under Pressure live CD or DVD, which is from 1984, um, they play the song live. But on the outro, Getty Lee's not playing bass. He's just playing the synthesizer but you don't get a sense that anything's missing. Obviously, they, just, they as they were figuring it out, they figured out that, well, we can pull off just playing the keyboards and using the bass pedals for the bass. And it didn't really occur to me until a few watches of that, that Giddy Lee was not playing the bass, but I didn't even notice it because they were so proficient at replicating their music live that whatever they had to do to not only equal the studio version, but usually exceed it on the stage. It was just uncanny the way they were able to do that. So their pursuit of technical uh, excellence, technical perfection, is just something that they were, they were always after. And of course they made mistakes on stage, every band does, but there are so few that pretty much when they make them, the fans remember them <laughs> because it's just once, maybe or twice ever. <laughs> But just this, that's just another reason yet that the band is so uh, loved by the fans is their pursuit of technical perfection and excellence on the stage and in the studio. Yet another reason that Rush fans love them so much is their freaking endurance. And it's similar to a previous reason that I mentioned about um, not taking their audience for granted. These guys, I'll tell you, not only their endurance show to show, that every night from the first song to the last song, it's the same energy or even more energy towards the end. But over their 40 plus years of playing, they played with such energy, obviously when they were young, but as they were older, they were still able to replicate all of the music that they've done over the years. There's been many bands that over the years, they just can't play their older stuff or they have to tune it way down for the singer. I think there's only been a couple of instances where Geddy Lee has had to or the band has had to play the song at a lower key because of Getty's aging voice. And I think the only two times were uh, circumstances when they played that during the Snakes and Arrows tour in 2112, when they played it uh, from Test for Echo forward, those were tuned down. But pretty much every other song, actually it was another instance in uh, the R40 tour, when they did a section of Hemispheres. I never thought they'd ever do that, but they did play it a key down or step down so that Giddy Lee could hit that really high note in that song. But other than that, they pretty much kept it all the same and their energy and endurance over the years. I think it's because they, they just didn't want anybody to cover them better than they covered themselves over the years. They just wanted to make sure that, hey, we're Rush and we're the best at playing our songs and no one's ever gonna play them better than we can. But they've just had such determination, again, to be as good as they can at their craft no matter what it is they're doing, be it lyrics or be it instrumentation, song writing, they just wanted to be wanted it to be perfect or as good as it can be and how they wanted it to be regardless of what people were gonna think. But their endurance with that attitude over the years has allowed them to play at such a high technical level, but maintaining the energy that they've always had, it is really awe-inspiring to watch. And there's very few bands that can replicate that energy over so much time and there are bands that have been around for decades and decades and i'm not going to mention who they are but you see them trying to play their older stuff and you can tell that they're just old guys playing their songs and it's you can tell that they're old but rush you could see that they're older but they're like they're still playing at an aggressively hard level they they had just such incredible endurance it's amazing that even getty's voice lasted that long and yeah, he did tend to struggle at the end, 
but he still hit the notes. It didn't matter. He still hit them. Uh, so it's very admirable to see how they maintained that level of energy and endurance over the years. And in 2015, they set the perfect example on how a band should finish their career. So the other reason that Rush fans love them so much is for their incredible endurance. The final reason I'm going to give for the reason that Rush fans love the band so much is their friendship. It is so, so heartwarming to see how those three get how those three got along. It is so endearing that you just were rooting for them. You wanted them to be excellent all the time. You never wanted anything bad to happen to them. Whenever there was any health issues or whenever there was a, a family issue, which Rush fans know of, everybody was together with the band because they wanted everything to be OK because they're such good guys, not only to themselves, but to everybody. They were so friendly and so humble that all we could do was just root, root for them. And really, all fans are very respectful of if they ever met any of the band members, how they would treat them. They would try to be respectful. They would try to hold their excitement in. It, it didn't happen very often. But if you watch or see any of the Facebook comments re relating to this subject or of if you ever met any of the band members, everybody would be like really respectful and try to be down to earth because they're down to earth. They were never flashy. They were never exorbitant about anything. They just um, wanted to play and really didn't care about the hype. And you can see with the with the banter during the concerts and the chemistry that they had on stage, it also was a sight to see. It just looked like they were always having fun, that they, they were never bothered to be out there performing for the fans. It's something that because they all agreed on the same things musically and personally, for pretty much their whole time together. It just endeared you to them. And if you wanna see really what kind of a friendship they had, I'm gonna link a, put a link in the description to the video called Dinner with Rush, where the friendly banter that they have amongst themselves is, is hilarious. But at the same time, it shows really what a friendship, a true deep friendship can do to a band where you see so many bands break up for whatever reason, and many many bands break up for good reasons, but maybe more of them break up for not as big a deal reasons. This band, Rush, showed that friendship, a deep friendship, is what really can make a band last for decades upon decades and still be at such a high level of success. And Rush fans respected that so much, and we do respect it to this day. Unfortunately, Neil not being here, uh, Alex and Getty still show that deep friendship for each other and it, ju and it just continues and it just makes you want to root for them and hope for the best for them in whatever they do. And you know what? After all of that being said, there is one other big huge reason why Rush fans love them so much is their incredible musicianship. But I'll probably talk about that in another video. All right, that's it for this one. I would really love to hear from you guys, especially the Rush fans. If you have other reasons why you love Rush, put them down in the comments because when the new Rush fans come along and watch this video, I'd like them to see how much love the band has and why. And and they'll see that it's not something that's uh, cringy or anything like that. It's just an ultimate deep respect for three guys who took their music seriously, appreciated their fans, and never, ever, ever rested on their laurels. And that is something to admire. I'll see you in the next video. I think I'm done. Cut.